All right, so this is an eight gallon rolling oil drum. And you'll see by the little red indicator that it's full. So I need to get the oil out of that and into some empty jugs so I can change oil in my car. In the past, I've tried to use that red transfer pump. It sucks, it's terrible. Last time I got oil all over my shirt, shirt. So today I'm gonna make a video on how to convert a small block Chevy oil pump into a transfer pump because there's really nothing on the market that you can buy that'll do this for under a hundred bucks. All right, so here's a uh, pile of parts we're gonna use. This is your standard 1967 to 97 uh, small block Chevy oil pump. It's a Melling M55. I would have bought, you know, the El Cheapo Chinese version, but uh, my Craig and AutoZone don't sell it anymore. They only sell Mellings made in the USA, which is kind of cool. But for this project, I could have done with a $12 or $15 oil pump, but in this case, this one was $25. So how these work is, this is usually this is your inlet, and usually you have your sump strainer that goes to your oil pan, and this is where the pressure out is. Um, so what we're gonna do is you notice I'll have, I have some fittings here so we're gonna take the quarter inch pipe nipple we're gonna thread this quarter in PT and put that in there and then attach a hose on it and that's gonna go over and fill our oil uh, jugs and then this guy right here we're going to weld a piece of 3 8 pipe in and hook it to this guy and that'll go into my oil drum and then to drive it which is here, I've got an old extension I used for another video I did. So I'm basically going to grind this so that it's got a slot that'll fit in there. And then I'll put a little half inch uh, collar on it to keep it from coming off. And it'll spin like that, I'll chuck it up in the drill. Um, yeah, and then I'll have to build a stand for it so I can get it up high enough so that this will go into the oil drum and then this will go into the, the jug. So. First step is to take it apart and start tapping this hole. All right, so before uh, we tap that hole there, we're gonna take the oil pump apart. Those of you who've never seen inside of a small block Chevy oil pump, it's just uh, it's a gear pump. So you've got two gears that spin. The, uh, this one's connected to the shaft, and so it spins and squishes the oil out and out through that port there. So gonna take these out real quick, set them on the counter, and then uh, and then tap that hole. So as luck would have it, I had uh, enough junk laying around. So this is a piece of all thread that I'd already notched and this is just an aluminum sleeve and in the box it came with the clip that's supposed to hold everything together so luckily my drill uh, interface is done it should pump and now uh, I threaded and put my little pipe in there so now I just gotta weld that and come up with a stand all right, so we're gonna preheat this thing a little bit before we go about welding it, because that pump's cold right now.
All right, now that's in there, I'm gonna post heat it just a little bit. Because I don't know, I guess this is just powdered cast iron or something. I want it to cool down a little slowly. Even though we got still like a broad there. Alright, on the building stand. Alright, so this is what we got going on. Took a piece of angle iron, cut a slot in it, drilled a couple of holes. I'm going to weld that to an old brake disc rotor and an old piece of pipe. Well, here it is. Now I've got to go get uh, some more hose. I didn't have enough, but here it is welded together. This angle iron is just welded on the back of that. The tube is just welded to the disc. We pick it up, bring it over here. See that that tube is going to go into there pretty easily. Now I just got to get a tube to go up here. All right, here we go. Got all the hoses and tubes on it. We're going to give her a shot here. See if uh, see if we can't make it happen. And it's full. <laughs> Gotta go get another one. But as you can see, about $40. Heck of a lot better than trying to transfer it with a uh, little red hand pump I showed earlier in the video. This would probably work great for gear oil too. Um, so yeah, there you go. How to make a transfer pump for oil or any other kind of fluid out of a small block Chevy oil pump. Thanks for watching.